anybody can set up and run their own Minecraft server. That's how it's been since 2009. But what players choose to do with their server is what makes them unique. Do players want to run an SMP? Do they want to have minigames or one-of-a-kind game modes? Do they reset the map often or decide to keep the same map forever? Do they allow for creative assistance and world edit or other unique plugins? What's great about Minecraft servers are the fact that they are all different in some form or another. Ever since the discovery of Novelin, Minecraft's oldest server which had been hidden for over 11 years, this opened up the possibility that there are other old hidden servers out there, untouched for months or even years. Barely seeing any players join for long periods of time, but still online due to the server owner's love for them. So I teamed up with Saplo who discovered Novelin, and we went around and explored four of the oldest and most unique Minecraft servers found on old server listings, internet archives, and more, of which I never even thought would have existed. From having the oldest creative maps, to being an entire country's oldest server, to having a map over 100 gigabytes in size and switching owners multiple times since 2010, the fact that such old and unique Minecraft servers are still out there is truly incredible. We explored more servers after this by the way, but you have to watch Saplo's video after to see those. Oh, and we may find a few world records as well, but you have to watch the video to find out. This video took a lot of work, hours of recording and planning as well as setting up, so please, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, consider subscribing. Help me get to 500k by the end of the year. But without further ado, let's begin. I just gave me an unknown host when I tried to join. That is upsetting. <laughs> Off to a great start already. The first server we joined was named Smiley, or Smilet, Denmark's oldest server as far as we know, beginning way back in 2011. Once I actually typed the IP correctly and joined, I was met by a relatively modern spawn. But once we finally figured out how to get to the SMP, you'd be surprised how difficult it is when you can't understand anything. I was transported right back into the past. Oh, oh I just okay. went somewhere. Something's happening. I think maybe I'm, I'm figuring out where to go. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, I'm reading rules right now. A... I'm reading rules right now in a different language, so hacking and mods are disallowed <laughs> and spam is not allowed, okay? What these All people right. did, uh, instead of resetting their map, was to uh, make a new world in the new update. Right. That being said, this current world has an unlimited map and just goes on in any direction. The server has never been reset, but rather they just added new worlds players can play on over time, three to be specific. Their original map is still available though. It's like um they got the old shop plugins here as well actually. Look. Did oh, it seems work? it seems to be working. It says uh, okay, no, that one said it can't uh, be used, but this one just said I don't have enough money. It seems um that you could also rent the stalls. I'm not sure if that works anymore if it's not even a plugin, maybe it's manual payment. One of the first builds we saw was the old market where you could seemingly rent stalls and set up signed shops. These used to be commonplace in earlier Minecraft SMPs, but are a form of the game which died out over time due to auction houses and GUI based trading and selling. They've got the full wood houses, like especially on the other side of that lake there. <laughs> I'm like, that's that is some ancient builds here. <laughs> I like the, the, the structure, but um, I can't say I admire the block choices too much here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like it. It's quirky. You know? It is quirky, that's for sure. It's not, not something you would see that often these days. Should we go in? I wonder if we can actually open the door. Uh, oh. Yeah. No, you can't get in, I don't think. Unfortunately, as we discovered, you can't open doors in many houses, so we were unable to explore their interiors. Another unique feature of the server is their obsidian-based warp gates or portals, which take you to various builds around the map. As you can see, it's quite a cluttered mess, and you'll end up accidentally warping through the wrong gate, more often than the one you want. Okay, nice shop. We've already seen shops. Nicest shop in town. Ooh, I, I'm, I'm noticing like a little bit of a pattern here. Interesting words I don't understand. <laughs> Vigo. I think we should Vigo into this portal. You have to go in and then hit shift. Do you see this little hole in the ground? Don't go into it. Oh, yeah. Uh, that hole uh, will take you right back. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Kind of a... And then you just hit Oh, shift. never mind. Accidentally. Apparently, I walked into a accident. Due to the server's age, you can find some unique quirks that only occur when worlds update through multiple versions. The reason these chests are backwards, could that be um, because of an update? Like uh, they're facing the oh, wrong way? Uh, that would make sense, actually. Yeah. And it seemed that while the server had stood the test of time, some griefers had made their way through it over its 10 year lifespan. Sail is a bit, a bit bleak. Looks like a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a feeling that this bo boat. Oh, yeah, it was like, griefed, actually. really right. catches the wind with those sails. We also stumbled across some alpha slabs, really displaying the server's age. It is, my axe isn't oh, breaking come it. On. It's, it's, it is, it's, it's, no, no, it is, my axe isn't breaking it fast. 
My pickaxe oh, is. Okay. It is. Yep, 100% it is. You're right. I accidentally teleported into an interesting underground shop, which was once run by the server owner. That's a little, that is a little interesting. Oh, somebody made a hotel? Uh, I don't know where you came back, but I came back at a shop here. Villager spawn egg? I am buying that. Ultra yeah. villager spawn egg. While the server does certainly have a lot of history, they've also kept up with the modern Minecraft landscape, featuring a bunch of interesting plugins such as jobs and other magic-related features, as well as crate keys to mine in Saplo's horror. Yeah. Hang on, have a look at this one. I got in my inventory. I got this one I spawned. Is this a loot crate key? I think so. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. No. Burn this. Burn this. Where's fire? I don't know what get, this Get this out of here. here. Unacceptable. <laughs> I'm sure we didn't even scratch the surface of the server in our brief expedition, but you really could just spend hours wandering around on here. The second server we ventured into was named Villaman. Failing to get the IP right for the second time, I was once again greeted by a beautiful modern spawn upon joining. Oh, a creative one. Yeah, that was it. Oh, this guy's a remskin. What a weeb. Amelia's clearly better. Villaman has the oldest unreset creative map in existence, beginning way back in June of 2011. What's interesting, however, is that initially creative mode didn't exist when this server began, as it wouldn't be added into Minecraft until Beta 1.8, released in September of 2011. Therefore, they may have used a survival and creative hybrid, where players could fly and use give commands to get blocks. Creative to us is inventory full of everything. You get fly, but maybe to them it's like a little different. <laughs> true, true. That's kind of... a good point. Look at this giant flying helicopters and fighter jets over here. Oh yeah. It's right over a church too. That's <laughs> Due to the server giving players a lot of freedom, there are some interesting builds, as we'll come to see. In the meantime, however, there's this nice, holy, and pure old-style Minecraft church. Come, yeah, come into the church. The this will give you a, it's quite old style. I like the, uh, I like the, the glowstone cross. It reminds me of, like, old Hero Brian videos I used to watch <laughs> when I was five. <laughs> Um, do they worship the tree or something? Like this is a tree here. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, what's the lore, dude? Look, look at this. This man literally gave this statue an asshole. He gave it an asshole, and it's like taking a dump in the toilet. Like, you can go into his, like, anal cavity, and it's <laughs> like, what? Like, there's a whole, there's a whole in depth. <laughs> it's brown. <laughs> <laughs> it literally says poop. Oh my god. While there were certainly some questionable builds, there was also a nice railway. And nearby the railway was a classic styled parkour, which attempted to use as many early Minecraft mechanics as possible. So this is an old style parkour then, I'm guessing. Interesting. Oh, I just went into the wrong one. Oh, well. More gambling here, apparently. I love gambling. I, 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 my wife and kids, they have a huge problem. <laughs> Their original creative map is no longer open for building, you can only explore it. But the server does have newer creative maps as well, which you can build on, and they also have a vanilla and pixel art map. You need to apply to build on the maps though, to prevent griefing. And as I mentioned, there were still some questionable builds and signs. Do you want to go into the, the strip club over here? Alright, come have a look at this sign here, which I'm probably going to have to censor the video. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up, I'm gonna read this in my announcer voice. Please, Please receive, receive three jizz, jizz buckets, buckets here. here. <laughs> but overall, what this displayed to me was more than just kids messing around. It was the lack of moderation that came with early Minecraft servers, which allowed funny and stupid things like this to exist. Something which truly is hard to find these days, outside of anarchy. One of the more serious and interesting areas of the map which we came across was this redstone testing area, where it seemed the player was testing various early redstone and piston mechanics. Looks like someone's doing some redstone okay. testing here as well by the looks of it. They're trying to build like some piston door. It's a very complicated piston door. Let's try turning it off and on in a way that'll stop it from working. They have a lot of the older redstone mechanics here, like T flip flops. It says unmute me in torches here. <laughs> where does it say that? Uh, right here, like look up to oh. the torches. So, you're right. He, maybe he was a mega genius and they were like, his ideas were so revolutionary, they had to censor him. Oh. Oh my god, I'm, I actually, like tra that. I'm actually trapped. Guess I'm a moron then. The server has a lot of personality and character. That's the best way I can put it. Now, this is really straight from 2013 and 2014. We have the classic MLG or montage parody humor here. Still just as funny as ever. Watch out for walking ebolas. No nans getting shrek here, please go away. 8 out of 8, it's alright, IGN. This looks like something straight out of like the 2013 MLG memes. Villaman has a map overview on their website, which gives you a nice view of their creative worlds. 
As I mentioned, they also have a new creative world where players can apply to build. It's a very cool server, which has remained true to its roots. Tregmine is the third server we would step our virtual feet into, and it's actually the server which seems to be the most active, and with the most back and forth history. The server originally began in September of 2010, but the original alpha map was seemingly lost around this time, and thus a new map was started in 2011. That map is the one still being used to this very day, and is now over 125 gigabytes in size, with no world border, meaning there are builds and bases out hundreds of thousands of blocks. The world border is unlimited, and there are bases out like hundreds of thousands of blocks. Wow. How far out we have to go to actually start playing survival? Because all like a uh, take I here. don't actually know. I did not manage to get very far. I think I walked out a couple thousand blocks in one direction. I was like, there's stuff everywhere. Wow. So, I, I starved to death, let's just say that, before I got to the good stuff. Look so, at this cathedral or whatever space thing on the left. I just, there's so much stuff you can't, like, look at and go. Yeah, these builds are um, really big, actually. These are quite, the scale of these is quite... Oh, I, yeah. That's probably world height there. So I mentioned that the server had shut down in the past. Well, that's happened more than once. I got in contact with the current owner, Vinny, so he could tell me parts of the story. The original owner was, and excuse my pronunciation, Ainand, who hosted the server from 2010 up until about September of 2014, as you can see on their old subreddit. Then, a year and a half later in April of 2016, according to an old Reddit post, Clunker5 brought the server back. Over the next two or three years, the server seemingly shut down some time, but older players still returned to the subreddit years after to see if they could get it up and running again. In 2018, another player decided to bring it back, but it didn't exactly work out. However, it did get old players communicating once more, and Vinny, the current owner, was able to get a copy of the map and begun hosting it himself. Uh, in the early days, like a couple hundred people online. Like, it was big. Right. Okay, so out here, it starts to look more like your, your traditional survival world, you know, you've got the natural terrain. A little bit, yeah. As we ventured further out of the spawn, the server's age began to show, and older style builds became much more prevalent. Do they have a map over you, like a... Um, on the uh, they used to apparently, but it got shut down because it was so large it would like lag the server to try to show it all. Oh really? Public house. That's not public, I can't open the door. <laughs> Do you see over there in the distance where I'm looking? Look at that, that combined conjoined oh. tree house there. Someone's growing multiple trees on top of one another. So one thing about the the owner about this server is he's like a fan of the original server, and he got the map from like the last guy who hosted the map. Right. Um, but he like he really wants people to start playing on here again. Like this lovely old frozen lakeside town is incredibly nostalgic. While simplistic, you have to remember that players were only able to utilize the limited blocks at the time when designing their houses. It really feels like a town straight from 2011. Oh. Wow, this is some high effort stuff here. It, it was like, I was like, oh, ha, funny number, <laughs> 666. And then I come here, I'm like, boah, someone. Oh, right, ball. look at the coordinates on the tab. Oh, no, when you click F3. <laughs> oh, wow, you're right. He's completely wrapped this whole thing in this massive wall. This would have taken so long. This would have taken ages. <laughs> As you can see, there are a long list of warps on the server, which take you to various areas of the map that have awesome builds. This looks kind of like an oldish style build. Yeah, this is Romania. This is like the owner, I think, used to, to do something here. He really liked this build. I know there's a Coliseum here. Mario's over there. Mario. That's Luigi. Wrong one. Not Mario. That's <laughs> Luigi, actually. Hopefully get made fun Sorry. of in the comments for that. <laughs> oh, okay, Colosseum, quite nice. The current owner of the server was also nice enough to give us temporary flight permissions, so we could explore the server even better. Tregmine used to run entirely on custom plugins, very unique for the time. According to the original owner, he made such plugins before there was decent support for it, and as such, the server had plots and zones, and potentially land claiming far earlier than most. These days, those plugins are mostly outdated, and they are no longer used, however. I just found um, a small little town which is interesting. Apparently, they used to have a currency called Tregs, and they have a little message board in the town which says, guys, we need two million Tregs for a warp. So it looks like you could buy the ability to set warps and stuff. Oh my goodness, look at this. The king can sit up his throne here. Oh yeah, I'm the king. Well, put me in the throne. <laughs> <laughs> the implications here are truly more Food sus than times. a character from Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you stole that joke from somewhere, I've heard it before. A cool fact about the server's history is that Dead Mouse joined it at one point. There is even a warp dedicated to him on the server as well, documenting the exact position he stood in. Have a look at the sign here, Dead Mouse visited here one year ago. So I guess this is where they took the screenshot. The server was fun to explore. There are so many unique builds mixed in with a variety of older style villages, castles and houses. 
The server's one-of-a-kind community and history is exactly what I was hoping for, and hopefully Tregmine will still be around for many years to come. You could say that we saved the best for last. Shirecraft is a server which began in October of 2010, and has been running the same map since. Interestingly, their original server, Fraggle Rock, had its files including its map mysteriously disappear after only a couple days of running. They then began the map they currently run now on October the 15th, 2010, and renamed the server The Shire. And as you can see, it's been running for quite a while. What I want you to do, check the day counter on this one. Check the day counter? Yeah, that is wow. 845,000 days. This is the oldest one I've ever seen. I don't know if it's the oldest one, but... This is likely the world record for most Minecraft days, by the way. It's never been reset. I found actually some old, old unlisted videos of their, uh, of the server. If you come here, you'll get like a, like a thing to, of stuff to tour and a little bit of info about the server. The server is set up very well, and they have lots of information displaying warps and commands for newer players who want to explore the server, as well as a nice map viewer on their website. They've also done really well to preserve their history and build around it, and many older builds are labelled with information, as well as there being a multitude of older videos on their YouTube channel. The server has some of the most dense and detailed builds and cities I've ever seen. The amount of large-scale builds on this server is astronomical. Each warp you could spend upwards of hours exploring every nook and cranny, and still probably wouldn't see everything. Orange Jestad is one of the largest and most dense communities in the Shire with over 400 unique buildings as of the 1st of the 1st of the 17th. The city was founded in June 2020 by Nebers. Oh, okay. He's an old player. I know that. Right. If you would like to stake a claim in this burgeoning metropolis, get in touch with Nebers. Thanks and enjoy. Over 400 unique builds as of 2017, I assume, in here. So they put a lot of effort into this by the looks of it. Like, this is so detailed and... and oh packed. my goodness. Look at this. Holy cow. You could just, like, pause in one screen and look at, like, 80 houses in one picture. I can see why he's given people the ability to fly there. Like, you cannot really appreciate this kind of build just on foot. Oh yeah, you need, like, not even on the Dynamap, you don't... It is so detailed in such a small area that you really need to be able to move around everywhere to get the full effect. Here's another city we visited called Loralian, and as you can see, it's built in an Asian theme, and is just as big as the first city we visited. It teleports you to a map. Oh my gosh. I didn't, it didn't load in the first time, and it's like, what, what are we doing here? This is huge. I like the, the, the building aesthetic though, it feels kind of very oriental. Yeah, that's very, that's very Asian. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I like it. I no, like just cool, that's for sure. Uh, at the risk of being cringe, uh, poggers aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> the server isn't entirely vanilla, however. The terrain around the world has been modified, and they've clearly had some external assistance from maybe creative or world edit, but it's still just as impressive. I there think there's a good yeah. chance this is world edit, considering that end portal frames are making up a majority of these builds. And the server is still active, with players still building and expanding massive cities at various warps around the world. They do have a, a knack for building massive cities on this server though, the looks of it. Yeah, well look, we can see the process being created. Look at how they they, they build this out. Oh, uh, this still in right, the, okay. oh, this area is still in construction. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, this is like a skeleton, skeletal frame of one of their builds, I guess. You say you spoke to the owner of the server like not too long ago, actually? Well, actually, the, the own, there's no singular owner of the server, it's like collectively done. It seemed that every warp almost won up the last, providing a fresh and different style of builds. Yeah, there are a lot of warps on here. Oh, there are a ton. Oh my god, this is massive. I really want to know now how much of this is survival and how much is with assistance. Because my oh, god... Oh, it's definitely with assistance. Even so, like, this is I'd still so much effort is... to build. And yeah, plan out. Like, like, oh yeah, he was telling me, uh, this has probably got the largest rail system. One of the key elements of the server, which they seem to pride themselves in, is their extensive railway network. As you can see on their map overviewer, an entire network of railway lines connect various cities and boots together across the world. Oh, you can buy tickets. Yeah, I feel like they don't. But let's see. Oh man, this is so professional. Uh, I wish I had like a minecart. Call cart? Oh, hey, look at this. On our hand there, just yeah, it's on the wall. I, I'm just going. <laughs> I'm guessing you're behind me. In fact, they are so serious about their transit that they even have an official transit authority for planning and constructing server-wide infrastructure projects. Supposedly, they even have more stations than the London Underground, and you can actually plan where you want to go on their website. Oh wow! That's nice. This looks a bit older as well. Oh yeah, this this seems like they were a little more. Oh yeah, look, established 2011. 
You can still find various older builds on their server, and they are absolutely massive, especially considering the time they were initially built. This is a Minecraft server played by engineers or something. Like I swear they got like proper infrastructure. You know they planned everything out. That's true. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe they're doing this as like a. Yeah, I should ask. You know what? I'll ask them right now. Why do you guys build crazy things like this? <laughs> Oh, oh, this is fancy. This is some fancy stuff here. Overall, Shirecraft was truly incredible. A real gem hiding amongst the ever-growing sea of Minecraft servers. You have to apply for membership to build once again, likely to prevent griefing or other issues. The website also documents the server's history extensively, so if you're curious, go there. But as I mentioned, there is still so much left to explore here, and you could get lost for hours. Oh yeah, Fraggle Rock, October... Uh Dedicated to the men and women of our first server. Fraggle Rock, their first server, was accidentally reset. Be, not reset, it corrupted, and they lost the map. So then they started the new server. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out Saplo's video, where we explore another handful of older servers as well. As I mentioned, it took a lot of time to set up, film, and record. So please, consider subscribing. And let me know in the comments if you want us to explore other old or unique servers in the future. Maybe you could even make a series out of it. Join my Discord and follow me on Twitter. Thank you all so much for watching.